Okay, so in this video I am going to show you guys how to take one of your objects from Tinkercad and then you're going to put the image of that object on your website. You're also going to include a button that lets you download the file so that we could actually 3D print it from the computer next to the 3D printer. And then also if somebody visited your website they could copy and tinker this. So, we are going to first, um, I'm going to show you, this is the beta version, so I'm going to keep making videos in this new version, because I'm sure that Tinkercad is going to switch over to it. Now, to change the name, you just click up here. Um, I'm going to change this, so I'll, it says water polo, it's a water polo player, okay? So maybe I'll just edit that real quick so you can see me do that. And then I took a an SVG file, and I uploaded it into here, that's how I created this. So I'm going to first take a screenshot. So print screen. And then let's uh, open paint and hit paste. So let's just get the image of our water polo guy here. Crop. File. Save as. And um, I already did this once, so you're going to see something similar in there, but I'll just give it another name, Water Polo Player. And uh, if you're curious where I'm saving this, remember in Playground we created a folder called Images, so I'm saving all of my stuff to that Images folder. If you can't remember how to get there, click on Playground, Images, and then we're going to save it in here, and I'm going to save it as Water Polo Player. Save. Uh, we, I'll just minimize that in case I need to do something with it later on. And then, okay, let's go to the website. And what we're going to do first is let's upload the image of the water polo player. So my images are in playground under images and water polo player. Open. Cool, so that shows up. Um, I'm going to write some text really quick. So, water polo player is basically my title. And um, I'm going to write a description about this. So, um, I chose to create a water polo player in Tinkercad. This was originally an uh, an SVG file on Google Images that I imported, um, and then. I'd maybe go on to explain like why I chose to create this image and so for me at least it's because I played that sport in college so um, I'm interested in it and I wanted to find something that maybe I could print up um, that related back to me but I would write about that and you guys need to do the same thing so then I'm um, after I write all that stuff I'm gonna bring in my buttons and it's weird but the line shows up right through there I don't know if it's gonna do the same thing for you but if you uh, drag and drop there. It's going to put it underneath, which is actually where we want it to go. So we're going to create two buttons. So that one's, I put it over there on the side so that they show up side to side. And this one's going to be the download button. This one's going to be the copy and tinker. So to create the download button, I need to get an STL file. So I do want everything included into the design. STL shows up down here show in folder because right now it's in my downloads folder I want to copy and I want to put it in my um, Autodesk Inventor Newland and I created a folder called STL files so just like I created an image folder I created an STL folder so that I could start saving all my STL stuff in here so I'm gonna paste it into that folder so water polo player huh, interesting like little pyramid there. Um, 
cool. So we have that. So we can go back to the website and we can edit this button. Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm going to edit it. I'm going to center it. Button style. I like I like for it to be blue. That's just a preference of mine because it's we have a white background anyway. Button text. Um, well, it's going to put any everything in caps lock anyway. Download for 3D The link is a file that we need to upload from our computer, which is in our STL folder called Water Polo Player. Okay, so we're good on that. I can just go over, click away, and for this one to copy and tinker, I need a link to this, so share and you could generate a new link. Um, you might just see one that says generate link. Just hit that and then you're gonna copy that link. Go to your button text. Center, blue, and all right. Copy and tinker. And the link is not a file, it's the actual URL. I right click in that little window and hit paste. Click away, so everything looks good, it looks neat. I hit publish. And then let's check this out, let's see if it worked. You should do this too, let's double check to make, make sure things work before we come to the computer over here by the 3D printer, and it doesn't work. So I put this in my Tinkercad page, which you guys should do as well. And it's at the bottom. So let's test this. Download for 3D printing, perfect. The STL file shows up here. When you do it on the computer by the 3D printer, you're gonna see a little M there because it automatically recognizes to put it into the MakerBot software and then copy and tinker should take me to Tinkercad. So other students or individuals who visit your website can then copy and tinker your object. Cool.